All right, well, after a full year renovation, the Folger Shakespeare Library is reopening this Friday. Dr. Peggy O'Brien is here now to tell us all about it. So thank you so much for being here today. Happy to be here. Happy to talk about this. Yes. Yeah, so first up, can you tell us all about this? So we have, as you said, we've been closed for four years. We've been doing a big a construction renovation, but also rethinking how we can serve the public, how we can serve people in D.C. and in the DMV, as well as all over, but people in the DMV and D.C. are favorites, I would have to say, how we can serve people more meaningfully and in a way that is more accessible. And so we are about to open the theater. Our theater has been open for a while, but we're about to reopen with a whole new set of exhibits, lots of activities, lots of new kinds of programming, and we're really psyched about it. That has to be so exciting. So what is a first folio? Can you tell us about that? And then you guys have, what, 82 of them? Yeah, we have 82. So the first folio is a book. So in 1623, seven years after Shakespeare died, two guys in his acting company decided that they should put all of his plays together and print them all in one book. Half his plays had been printed before in like sort of cheap paperback versions mm -hmm. called quartos, but they decided they should put them all together and that was called the first folio. And the Folger has 82 copies of this because every single copy is different. When you come, when people come to the Folger, we can, you can learn all about why they're different. Um, and up until now, all those copies have been down in the very furthest corner, down in the very lowest part of the Folger, away from everybody, really, and away from the public. And now we have a big visible vault right in our new exhibition hall, and so everybody can see them and learn something about them. And they're pretty interesting. And we know that our visitors, some will be Shakespeare fans, some will be like, I don't know, I don't know what I think about that. But we have lots of things for everybody to learn and do, and we're really excited about it. That's what I was gonna say, and this is a place for everyone to come, not just people who know a lot about Shakespeare. It's kind of everyone Everyone, everyone, and, and we say that right away. When you come in, we have a big panel that says Shakespeare, question mark, right? <laughs> yep. So, because we know. And so if you know a lot about Shakespeare, we hope you leave, leave saying, oh my gosh, I didn't know that. That was a new thing. But if, you, if you're new, also if you are kids, I mean, we are looking for families. Pe we asked a lot of people around the district how we should be when we reopened, and they said, can I bring my family? So we have lots of stuff for kids. Kids will have decoder trails and things that they can discover. People can set type. We, we have a press, which we have, you have a great visual of our press. Um, so we have lots of things for people to learn and do in a way that is very accessible and exciting we hope we're very excited to have people in here and we are reopening to the public this friday on the 21st um and we would love to have all kinds of folks come visit i'm sure and after being closed for four years to completely renovate this it has to be really exciting for all of you guys who have been working on this so long to open and just like see how people like take it all in and just see everyone's face when they come in yes and and we're going to learn a lot i mean we we know that the first day we open we're taking our best shot right in terms of opening with what folks have told us they would love to see and be able to interact with and do we have a lot of interactives um, as part of these exhibits but we are gonna learn very carefully from people as they come. What we know is that we want everybody who comes to know that they belong at the Folger, they have a spot here, and that we are entirely thrilled to see them. And we have, people can come, we're open as of Friday at 1 p.m., open to the public, and we have timed entry, and so you can get a timed entry pass. This is Friday and forever or you can just come in and walk in, but it's a, and we'd love to have a donation if people care to do that, but it's free, all the Folger is free. Uh, and so we will be thrilled to see all kinds of folks. And where can people get information? At our website, which is uh, folger.edu, all of that information and how to plan your visit and, and also all the very specific events that we'll be, we'll be having a lot of special events going on reopening weekend. And, um, and we're all game for that. Even with the weather, even with the hot weather, we're game for that. Hot, definitely hot weather. Hot right. weather, though, <laughs> inside the Folger, rare books, rare books love cold temperatures. And so we have the biggest collection of Shakespeare in the world, and we keep it at a good temperature, and we'll keep visitors at a good temperature, too. Nice. All right, well, for more information, make sure you visit our website, dcnewsnow.com.